Welcome back. So now you guys have a, uh, at least an overview about uh, the NT framework. Let's try and install it in our solution this lesson. So to install the NT framework, we have to um, actually start out by just getting this package right here. Now we have to pick what package we want to use. In our case, we just want to use the SQL Server. Uh, later, I'll show you SQL Lite, but I want to start up with an in-memory solution and that resides inside the SQL Server. So I'll pretty much just go and grab this um, this guy right here and I'll find him inside my NuGet package system. So let's just jump into our solution right here and try and figure out where we should add this uh, setup right here. Now first of all of course we need it inside our data, right? We need it in here. That's the main place where we kind of need to add this new package. So I can right click and manage NuGet packages and it might look a bit different in Visual Studio but you've played around with NuGet packages already so it's not a big thing. I'll find the SQL Server in here by putting in the path up here and I'll pick SQL Server right here. And I'll pretty much just say add that to the current project, which is right now the infrastructure data project. I'll add that and I'll say yes. And I'll add this first project right here. But we also need it somewhere else. And let's just add it there while we are working with the Nuke Packs anyway. And that is inside the customer REST API because that's where we are going to later use dependency injection and use uh, the mapping of the dependency injection. So we need it up here as well. So let's just manage Nuke Packs for the REST API as well and put in the same path, this guy, the server, there we go, and it pops up again with the SQL server. And notice it's not impatient, don't use that one, it's Microsoft's, right? I've not tried the impatient, it's probably great, but it's the Microsoft one we're using. I'll just add that as well, I'll say yes. And now that's also added to this project. So now we've kind of installed the .NET Core inside um, our setup right here. Now you can, they explain the same thing here. Here it's actually in Visual Studio, so you can just go and check that out. That was kind of why I picked the other one, because now you can actually go and see which one you want to use. So that, that should be it for this lesson. Now we actually have the, the NT framework ready to use, and now we can actually start working on our context next time, and I'll of course explain that to you. See you next time, have fun.